Hello guys, so <coughs> welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue the next part of this tutorial. So as you can see over here, we have almost done with the modeling part of this particular kitchen. So few things are just left out over here. So before that, uh, we'll be creating this kind of a stove over here. For that, what we'll be doing over here is like, let's go into this and let's just take one swift loop over here let's take one swift loop over here let's select this polygons let's just give a bit of inset slight inset click extrude a bit up over here that's it after that for the stove what we can do we can take out some references over here for the stove over here stove burner so we can just take out some references like this so we can just take this as a reference over here just take this reference so let's go into rendering view image file just take this reference over here so let's go to the top view over here so let's just take a cylinder over here So after taking a cylinder slightly just push it up over here let's go into this so convert to editable poly select the polygons and let's just use inset and let's give a bit of bevel over here click ok inset it again let's just slightly give a bit of bevel up again let's give a bit of inset just give extrude up over here and select the edges over here select this edges and let's just give a bit of chamfer to it click ok select the polygon give inset and extrude it inside and click ok so now after that let's go again into the the side view over here and let's just take a line over here just take a line over here let's go into this select the vertices and let's just give a bit of fillet to it go into rendering enabling viewport and slightly make it as a rectangular that's it select the vertices so go into hierarchy effect pivot to point rotate it just make two copies over here so slightly we can just push this up over here so can resize this to 
duplicate it and duplicate it over here so can create such kind of burners in this way again you can select this over here let's select this platform so again use a swift loop save your file so let's select this slightly if you want to push it you can push it inside over here let's again take a cylinder over here auto grid let's use a cylinder just drag it over here so after dragging this right click convert to editable poly and let's use a cut tool over here let's use a cut tool select the polygons and slightly let's use a bevel over here and click ok that's it so you can just resize this over here you can just duplicate this all right save your file so you can just keep a vessel over here let's take a line tool over here of this auto grid over here and let's give a modifier called lathe modifier let's go into line and slightly you can just go over here and let's give a bit of fill it so slightly you can give a modifier called a shell modifier so shell will give a bit of thickness to it and you can just slide scale it slightly just push it up that's it save your file So few things are still left out. Take a rectangle for this uh, wooden board. So convert to editable spline. Go into the vertices. Let's give a bit of fillet to it and let's give a extrude modifier and slightly just drag it over here you can keep it in this way. So what we'll be doing over here is like go into rendering, render setup, and I'll set this to V-Ray over here. I'll go into the polygons and I'll just make this all as a glass over here. So I'll just give the glass property. So let's go into material.
So go into material and let's go down. Let's take a V-Ray material. So for a glass, let's rename it as a glass. Let's give a bit of reflect and the refraction would be a full white glass if you want you can just make it more darker and IOR we can keep it to 1.88 and assign this so you can just easily assign this over here so once you assigned it over here will be definitely we also need to assign this stuff so let's just push it over here so increase its height and length So convert to editable poly, go into the vertices, just keep it till here, slightly push it down, take one more copy of it. So select this, so select this. Press shift and drag it, make a copy of it. So definitely we'll be putting some stuff over here for this. So again shift and drag and duplicate it again. So you can slightly just push it over here, not more out and slightly just scale it that's it okay so just select this all and give a color so guys if any doubts please write it in the comment section so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial.